What's up, everyone? Mark Loveliner, TigerFitness.com alongside Doug Miller, Core Nutritionals. Oh, look at that. Body. High performance nutrition. I've been taking a lot of drugs. So, Sean has a question that was actually emailed to Tiger Fitness. Um, what's this question, man? It's on your phone. Yeah, we got a question from Jesse. Uh, I'm not going to say the last name. No, we want to keep it on yeah, yeah, from Jesse. Just in case the side chick's watching. The point of the question is that Jesse is in a calorie deficit, about 1,800 calories training three or four times a week and doing cardio, should they, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, incorporate a fat burner? Well, I mean, I think the first thing you have to do is like, I'd have to ask him more questions. Yeah. Right? Because, you know, all the other things have to be in place. Like, just because you're going to the gym three or four times a week, are you really doing the right things? Are you getting the most out of each of those training sessions? Are you crushing it? Are you crushing it? Exactly. And then the other thing is, you know, is your diet really on point? Number one, do you really know how to count macros? Are you counting them correctly? And then what are your foods that you're actually eating? Um, I mean, you, you have to look at all these different things before you would jump into supplements. You know, remember supplements are, um, they're th just that, they're supplements, not substitutes. Yes. So you gotta get the basics down first. And then if you have those things in place, that's when you're really gonna notice the effects of a fat burn. Yeah, and I mean, what to look for in fat burners, there's a lot of them are just um, energy pills. Yeah. Essentially, they'll just pick the you know DMHAs, the big stimulants, to make you feel it, but are they really doing things for fat loss? I think all three of us, um, obviously you guys know we share a lot in common, um, in that we want well-dosed, scientifically-backed ingredients. Mm -hmm. So I look for things like, something like a well-dosed coleus force glide, for example, mm -hmm. um, or something like that. And also there's other things that can aid with fat loss, like core heart, which helps mediate or control um, cortisol and estrogen, which can be huge um, deterrents in fat loss if your hormones are not balanced. I'm not saying it'll completely negate fat loss. I'm saying that it can definitely help you to control those. So as far as what you should use, I think you shouldn't be alerted by the whole ads. Like lose it. if something says you can lose X amount of pounds in X amount of days or weeks, generally you're getting ripped off. Yeah, I mean, and also if it's one tiny pill, that take one per day and like the first ingredient is caffeine. It's a stim. It's a stim, right? It's an energy pill. Yeah. yeah. So like Doug said, I think to incorporate, when to incorporate a fat burner is when you know everything else is right. As for, oh, I'm gonna wait till week four. My, I think as soon as you start the diet, if you have all of the variables in place, I see no reason not to incorporate a fat burner. And then you get funky with it. For example, um, Doug and I have two two fat burners. I have, you know, I have drop factor. He has core burn. Yeah. Okay, um, then you have Sean who has something called M6. Yeah, that's which a product, is amazing. That's a product that's not actually a fat burner. It doesn't work on the oxidization of fatty acid. It's more on the actually on the storage end. It prevents fatty acid storage and encourages release. So again, these are compliment these are complementary products. Yeah, absolutely. And then then on the other hand, we talk about cortisol and estrogen. Doug has core heart and I have tyrant. And people say which one should I take? I think they're both great. You could try them both and yeah. see which one you like better. Obviously, it's geared towards again, we make supplements for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if other people want to use them, that's great. So obviously, but the, the key component you want to look for in all of our products is that we dose them really well. Yeah. And my thing is, if, if you don't take MTS, you're going to take any other brand. Obviously, take my boys' brands because we share the common the common goal. But I think a lot of people look towards fat burners like they're going to create something. When they don't, they simply enhance or supplement what you're already doing. And that that would be my first my first point of, of contact for Jesse would be. Are you losing weight currently? Because if you haven't lost any weight anytime recently, and where you just started and you haven't lost any weight yet, I don't think incorporating the fat burner is the right Well, move. he's probably not even in a deficit. I mean, right. thermodynamics are kind of tight. Right. Now, there are some other hormonal, hormonal or, things in place. Or maybe your diet's set to a deficit, but you're not adhering to your diet. So right. if you're not making some kind of progress already, then I don't think you need to incorporate the fat burner. You need to figure out the right combination of training and diet manipulation that gets fat loss and weight loss going. And then the stack like the uh, drop six hard stack would get it going faster and keep it going for you. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's something a lot of people overlook. And also, if you hit a stick point in a diet, like you stop losing weight, um, the thing is like, what I tell people, it's like, well, I use this calculator online. We have great calculators on Tiger Fitness. They give you a broad outline, but just because a calculator says that 1800 is a deficit for you, again, like we said earlier in our seminar yesterday, the body's not a textbook. So 1800, your metabolism might be below that. For example, even for my body weight, my set point where my base calories are at are much higher than what the chart says. I mean, unfortunately, I think people do get caught up with numbers a little bit too yes. much, and they're a little bit afraid. Like 1800, that is low for a, a guy, you know. Like, but some people need to go lower than that to really truly be in a deficit. 
So I wouldn't get totally caught up in the numbers, but you have to understand your numbers, you know, what's going to work for you. Exactly. So without making this low, we could talk for hours about this, but at the end of the day, will a fat burner help? Yes. But if you're not already getting his results without the fat burner, you need to evaluate your program. Right. Yep. That's not a game.